What's up, man? It's your boy Zig Dardis. You now tune into the Music Lab Show. As you know how we do, we bring guests on the show. And today, I got my mans in the building, Cody and Carter. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How, how are, are you, man? bro? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. man. So, yeah, let them know. I already know who you are, but let the people know who you are. What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy Cody and Carter, uh, actor, model, host, brand ambassador, uh, spokesmodel. Uh, you know. Yeah, and author, sorry. author as well, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 definitely got the book out, I mean, so, like, what I wanted to do with you, like, you know, what we do, we do focus on music, but we also bring other people on um, that have a success story, so, like, it's okay. not so much just music, but, you know, okay. one of the biggest actors in Philly right now, Yes. felt as though that, you know, we get you on the show, yeah, for sure. um, so I wanted to get into your movie, Last Shot. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, this movie is crazy. If y'all haven't seen it, man, this movie is crazy. Um, he actually got a book out. The book is called Last Shot, too, right? Yeah, my, my last yeah, shot. My last my shot. Last shot yeah. Um, so, man, this movie is crazy. He did his thing. Had the premiere. Um, tell tell us some more about the movie. Tell like tell us what inspired it. Like what happened. You know, basically, how did you get that part? And okay. Yeah. Uh... I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. um, well, last shot, um, I played the role of Nicholas Ayers, for those who haven't seen it. Um, I played the role of Nicholas Ayers. Um, the movie came about real crazy because um, it was it was structured for uh, an older male. And um, I met Terrence at the audition, and, you know, he wrote the role for me. Um, interestingly enough, before that, I was actually coming home from a 14-month stretch. I had went to jail for 14 months between 2014 and 2015. So that was actually the first role that I got, um, just coming back, stepping back into entertainment. So it was just, um, it was a lot of things that tied into that. And I was like, you know what? Um, I, I wrote the book, My Last Shot, just around, you know, um, my la right, writing it about basically about the movie. You know, mm -hmm. basically like, yo, this is like my last shot, my second opportunity at this thing. But um, the movie itself is just about a guy who comes home from 10 years of jail. Um, Went to jail because he killed his fiance because he found out. Yeah. Um, he, he found yeah. out uh, his son wasn't his uh, his son; it was his brother's son. And um, I, without giving too much away, when you guys see it, y'all get the you know the gist of it. But um, I got the role, you know, audition, and you know it just happened, and it was just a uh, match made. Yeah. And then, uh, me and Terrence ended up building a great relationship off of that. Uh, you know I bet. I mean? So what what made you want to act? Um, okay. you know, I don't think I, I ever asked you that, but what made you want to? You know, start acting. Yeah, um, I think I did my first stage play at eight years old, Charlotte's mm -hmm. Web. Um, oh, and it was in school. Yeah, it was yeah, a school yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, I remember yeah, that book. Yeah, it, 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 it was by default, and I'm like, damn, like that that rush I had on stage was dope. Like, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, mind you, I learned the role. They just threw me in. Like, you know how when you're in the classes and they, everybody got to do a play. Mm -hmm. So it was like one of them. It wasn't like an audition or nothing. I was eight years old, so it was like they was like, yo, <laughs> you know. One of the guys dropped out, you, you you got the role, and I ended up getting a standing ovation. And I was like, That's yo, I like this feeling. Mm -hmm. And I actually wrote about this in my book, too. I was like, damn, I like this feeling. I didn't know what the feeling was. I'm eight, so yeah, I don't know what right, I like. Right, I'm like, right. damn, this was cool. And then I, I, you know, I was a kid for a little bit, and I got back into it at 12, 13. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize the other side of acting, which was... You gotta learn how to act. Like you really have to do the training part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you little, you don't gotta train. It's just like whatever. Right. So I, I was like, wow, I, I didn't realize it was that much. And then um, my mom was like, listen, if you really want to do it, you gonna have to really learn. So mm -hmm. I, I had to really learn as far as like you know books, training, got into workshops, and then um, I just started falling in love with it from there, like yeah. twelve, thirteen, and then just kept going. Now you just kept going. Big, yeah. big move. So yeah. what? Like when it's all said and done, like what? Are, what is your main goal? Um, as far as your career goes, like, what is something that you know, like, okay, when it's all said and done, I want to accomplish this? Like, like I said, my bio, um, my bio, I, I put, my, my main goal is to inspire, you know, that's it, inspire through my art, and that's always been my mindset since young, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it, it's never been about no fame, never been about no money, it's all about, you know, doing them roles that people can watch years later, mm -hmm. After I'm done, like, wow, that, you know, I still could watch this, like, because I felt something. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, you know, that's why I pick and choose how I move, man, because I want to I want to leave a legacy, like, like that people can really, like, look at and say, damn, like, this inspired me. Right. You know what I mean? So, right. I, you know, that's why I try to, you know, that's how I move now, and I, I want that to be my basis. Okay. Know? That's why I, I take my time with this thing, like, because I want people to really see, like, all right, 
you know, I'm inspired by him. Like yeah, his story, his, the way he moved. Yeah. Like I, I, I gotta, whatever your goal is, like just go do it. Like whatever. And I, I want people to feel that, you know. Okay. You know what I'm saying. All right, bet. So what is your what is your favorite genre to like play in? Like what. You know, like, is it comedies? Is it action? Like, what do you see yourself being, like, your... What's your best attribute, like, far as, like, genres go? Um, drama. Drama. Yeah, drama. Okay. Drama, because drama, drama takes you on a, um, a roller coaster. And I, I like I like being able to show my chops, you know? Okay. Like, I'm um, studying for a stage play right now, and it's, it's, you know, it got me going up and down, and I like that. Okay. You know, I like that. So I like, I like to just, you know, take you on a ride, um... I haven't really done a comedy yet, so I, I, I look forward to that challenge as well, because mm -hmm. that's a challenge, because I never did one. Okay. But I, my favorite, definitely drama. Definitely drama. Definitely drama. That's sure. Cool. So you got, um, you know, the web series coming out that you're playing and that you're starting in, called The Pro. Yes. You know what I mean? You got the trailer out. Yes. Without giving Pro, too yes. much away. <laughs> Tell us a little. Tell us a little background story about that. Not giving too much away, cause okay. You know, like yeah, situation. yeah. Like, like Zig said, man, the probe coming soon. If you haven't seen the trailer, make sure you go check it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, the probe. I play the role of Rail. Um, I'm right under the role of Stax. So Stax is the lead. I'm the second in command behind him. Uh, Gilly the kid who plays the role of Ti. He plays my my right hand man. Yeah. Um, so. The, the role itself, Rel is just like a block captain. He's making sure everything running smooth. Um, and, you know, he's just making sure the operation that Stax runs is, uh, and Gary Surges, mm -hmm. he's making sure that everything running smooth and uh, he's just keeping everything in, in motion. Okay. Um, but it's a lot more to him, but, I, you know, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah, we ain't well, we gonna, we gonna, right, we right. gonna keep playing, man. <laughs> but, I just wanted to get that out there, make sure y'all know y'all go check out the trailer. But the show itself, mm -hmm. uh, the probe is just about everybody watching each other, you know, because mm -hmm. the word probe is just about people watching each other. Yeah. So you got, you know, politicians watching the dirty criminals, uh, dirty politicians, and the criminals watching the other criminals. Right. Like, it's so many different, different, um, you know, like, levels. So it's like everybody watching each other. And yeah. everybody trying to take each other down while trying to, you know, control Philadelphia. So oh, it's based in Philly too. Yeah, so oh, it's a Philly. Yeah, it's a Philly. That drama be crazy. You know, man. Philly, Philly don't got a show. Yeah. So the timing, the, That's this, true. the timing is, is amazing. It's perfect. Like, this, and Philly, this is, Philly on fire right now. Yeah. Philly definitely on fire right so, now. So that's definitely yeah. you're right. The problem is perfect. Yeah. So but, um, it's for the city. Yeah. So basically, what we do on the show, we tend to go off like ask some random questions. Okay, not yeah. you know. Based on what we interviewed about, so I got I came up with a couple ones. We are gonna okay. get into some sports because the NBA season been Story. off season has been crazy. All right, so I just did a couple like versus matches. So who will win this match? James Harden and KD versus Bron and Russell Westbrook, and why? James Harden and KD and Bron versus Westbrook. Um, yeah, Bron and Bron and West versus KD and, and Harden. I would say. I would say KD and Harden. Okay. KD and Harden because one, um, Westbrook too aggressive, and sometimes when he gets too aggressive, he loses track of the game, and sometimes he gets sloppy. Right. Harden and KD could just shoot you, shoot you out of the gym. Was you don't think that Brown would tame that aggression of Westbrook? I think. No, I, I think uh, <laughs> KD, KD, KD know how to guard Brown. Okay. If anybody know how to guard Brown is KD. Yeah, you yeah. know from past experience. Well, you know, nobody so, can't really shut Bull down. I mean, like, you yeah, can't, you can't shut. KD yeah, is that, that you can't shut LeBron right. down. But if you got KD and Westbrook, right, they gonna shoot you out the gym. Yeah. And Westbrook shot. If you if you gotta rely on Westbrook to carry whatever LeBron don't carry, yeah, Westbrook is gonna come up a little short. Yeah, I think okay. them two is so that's shoot the weak you. link. Yeah, yeah, yeah got yeah. you, got you. Sure. All right, so that was the one. All right, so this is one of my favorite that I came <laughs> up with. All right, so you're a quarterback of a franchise, Let's go. face of the franchise, right? Um, you got you get to pick between a running back. You get to pick two people, running back and a receiver, two positions. What trio would you? Who would your running back and your receiver be? Wow. All time. All time. All time. Um, so just just running back and receiver. Just a running back and receiver to complete the trio. Okay. Oh man, that'd definitely be. Um... Uh, Walter Payton. Okay. I take Walter Payton and Jay Rice. Oh, all right. he went the classic. Hey. My drawing. Walter Payton and Jay Rice. My drawing. I'll pick Barry Sanders as my running back. Oh, that's good. And Calvin Johnson as my wide receiver. Yeah, that's tough. 
Like two time. lines too. That's yeah, crazy. but like, and they both retire early. But I'm thinking, I was thinking, of, um, what made me come up with this question? Megatron really retired at like 29, 30 years old. Right. Remember, he retired in the middle of his prime. He was like mossing three people at a time. But then he woke right. up one day and was like, all right, guys, I'm done. Right. And I was thinking like, damn, like he was on the pace to just shatter like any receiver records. And he just quit. Like, damn, like that's crazy. Right. No, no, no. Um, I like that. But yeah, man, that's that's basically what we do here. Um, you know, we wrapping it up. I'm going to have my mans, you know, give them all your handles. Give them uh, like your social media stuff so they can get in contact. Okay. Um, and, you know, just promote yourself. Get off your hands. All right. Yeah. Um, Instagram. I am Cody and Carter. That's I A M Cody. The letter N Carter. Um, you can YouTube. Check out some of my material. Cody and Carter on YouTube. Facebook. Cody and Carter. Um, and like I said, man, just look out for the probe. Look out for yeah, yeah. last shot. And look out for all my commercials that's on TV. Look out for anything you know featuring Cody and Carter. And the book, My Last Shot, will be coming later this year. So look out yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, we here. All right. Back. So you already know what it is. It's your boy Zig the Artist. You tuned into the Music Lab show. And we out of here. Peace.